Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. So in the previous video, we have learned complete about the uh, template driven forms, right? So we have completed the template driven forms and we have learned all the concepts in the template driven forms. Now you need to remember one thing that this is not only the approach in the for building the form forms in the Angular. So there is also another approach in the Angular as I already told you previously. So that is nothing but the reactive forms. Now in this video, we will see about the reactive forms. So the reactive forms, as I already told you, the reactive forms is nothing but what I can say is the form handling in the previously in the template driven form, we have did everything in the template. Okay, in the, in the HTML we have did. Now the reactive forms is the opposite one. So we need to do everything, the logic validations and everything in the TypeScript. So in the logic, logic side, we will be writing all the validations and everything from, from the logic side we will be writing. Okay, so we will see how we can implement this uh, form handling in the reactive forms in this angular we will see. And also you need to remember that, so don't think that it is a more complicated or something like that. It's not that much of difficult or anything. So we will be having more control on the reactive forms than in the template driven forms. So we will try to see now. So now here we have seen this, right? So what I can do is now, um, we can go here and we let's try to create a new component that is nothing but what I can say is reactive forms. So let's create the ngGC uh, reactive forms. Okay, let's create the reactive forms. Let it create the component. So in the meanwhile, if you are coming first time to my channel, please support me by subscribing to my channel. Okay, so that I will post new new courses. So all the front end courses and all those things I will try to post. So the component has been created. Okay, we can go here and let's write the HTML. So just common HTML, we will try to write here. So what I can do is I will be having container. Okay, so, uh, what I can do so dot row and dot call mod 12 and form. Okay, I will be having the form group. So same thing. So form group. So just I am de designing the basic HTML. So label, I will be writing username. Okay. So this is nothing to do with the logic and all this. So that's why I am writing it very quickly. So here I can write input dot form control. Okay. So input type is called form control. Okay. Now I can copy this entire thing and I will write another one. That is nothing but email so this one is also you'll keep like this and another one what i will try to do is so let's take another one radio button we will take this time so here what i will try to do is i will try to keep genders here so that male and female let's take this male and female here so i will try it right here and if i go to the html what we will try to do is so here i will try to do the div and I will try to loop over this one. Okay, we will try it in a different way. ng for is equal to let gender of genders. Okay, mm, I will try to write the label. Okay, I will try to write the label. In this label, I will give input type is equal to radio and name is equal to gender. So it should be of same name only, all the radios. And the value, I will give the value. Sorry, value is equal to gender. So, uh, yeah, gender, okay. And here I can write gender. Okay, this is the simple radio, bu radio button. Now, what I can do, I can create here div. I can create a button. And uh, type is equal to submit. Whatever the thing you want, you can give. And class is equal to button, button hyphen primary. So, this is the CSS classes. I will give add. Okay, so this is a simple form. Now let's try to add the path in the app routing so that we will be having a clear view. So I think you already know about the paths and all the things how to give. So here I can write reactive form. So it will go to reactive forms component. Okay, reactive forms component. And let me add the link also. Then also it will be very easy for us to go directly to that path. Now I can go here. And I can copy and paste it down so that here I will write reactive form and here it I will be going to reactive form. That's it. So this is all the 
just uh, clean up and all the things I did. Now let it refresh template form and here we will we see the reactive form and if I click here reactive form uh, what is happening so here let it uh, see total link is equal reactive form reactive form so it is going to react form fine perfect it's correct only what is there in the line in here if we see reactive form it is going to reactive forms module perfect everything is perfect only so if we see here okay it is building it's lit, uh, yeah now here if we see reactive form why is this one is not coming so here in having this one we are having template form and here i am having the reactive form and it's not bringing it. let's see the app component.html what has happened and the router link is equal to slash reactive form router link reactive form it's correct only what has happened so what could be the error we are getting here let's try to see again so let's try to see the console first so if you see the console here we are getting some error wait what is the error type pass is not a component so that means routing we are we didn't pass a component okay fine so sorry so we need to form we need to say reactive forms component okay so this is the correct thing now let's try to so i am not passing the component i am passing the module to the component okay that is a problem so this type of problem sometimes you will be getting so we need to see the console so now i got the simple form okay so this username email and uh, uh, username email and the gender now what i will try to do is so this one is completed so keep that uh, html part aside now we will go to the here the reactive form so now we need to build the form okay in the reactive forms what i can see is in the template driven forms you have seen the ng form object so it is a wrapper actually it is a wrapper so what i can say is in that form object wrapper you will be having the controls okay the form group it's something like we can what we can say is ng form group it is a form group in that form group you will be having a controls so that is the form group everything so that is a wrapper template driven form automatically creates that object for you now you need to create that object of your own okay so that is the thing so first in order to create the object this one first we need to create the form group object okay so let's take here sign up form okay of type form group so let's create of type form group form sorry form group okay form group this should be imported from the angular forms you need to remember okay forms module is not there so you need to you need to inject it from the angular forms in order to when you are trying to implement the react to forms you need to inject another module in the app module so that is nothing but what i can say is for example in the template driven forms we have seen that we need the forms module in order to work with the template driven uh, template driven approach if you want to work with the template driven approach you need to inc include the forms module i have told you right so if you are working in the reactive form approach then there is no need for the forms module we need the reactive forms module okay so you need to remember that one so you, if you are using both the things you need to include both the modules if you are using only one approach means whatever the approach you are using you need to you need to include the appropriate module so here i am using the reactive approach and also the template approach why because another component is having the template driven form right so that's why i'm including that forms module like that only if you are using only the reactive form module means there is no need to include the forms module okay reactive forms module so this is the thing i have included this also should be included from the angular forms here you will be able to see okay so now that is the first step so in order to work in the reactive forms module you need to include the reactive forms module so keep it aside now i will be going to the reactive form.ts now i created a variable sign up form of type form group okay it is of type form group that means it's nothing but the ng form group it should be of type ng form group now here in the ng on init i need to implement the sign up form so what i can do is this dot sign up form is equal to i need to create an object of the form group new form group okay so i need to give the controls whatever the what are the controls present in that form group controls means nothing but the inputs what are the inputs present in the form group i need to tell so those inputs are we need to give it as object okay first is as you already know here first one is my username so i can go directly and i can give username so i need to create a form control this is the form control username is a form control you need to remember so we have seen already in the template and forms controls like that we have seen right so this is a form control we can create it using new form control okay so this also should be included from the angular forms new form control of first one will be the default value what is the default value you want to give here 
so for the time being i can give it is null okay so i don't want to fill automatically the username and here another one is the email so we already have the email right so i will be creating new form control new form control so this one also i don't want to pre-populate anything now another one is the gender gender is also a input only so if it is a radio box also it's an it's a form control only so form control if you want to give if you want to select any default one or anything so for example i want to select female so i can write female so that the female will be selected automatically now here this is the sign up form so this is the sign up form let's think that this is the sign up form so this is how we can we will be creating the form group in the reactive forms approach you remember you need to remember so we are creating the ng form group that is a wrapper whatever this we have seen the uh, object in the template and form so we are creating that one in the from the scratch this one so this is how we will be creating the form group and the form controls in the reactive forms now in the next video what we will try to do is we will try to connect this form group to the template what we have developed the template we need to we will be trying to connect this template and that with that form group sign up form property okay so we will see it in the next video so if you have any doubts or any suggestions up to now in this video so please post the comments to the below video so that i will try to give the reply and if you like this video do support to me by subscribing to my channel thank you